So what is going on people and welcome to episode 41 of the Peter Reunited Career Mode here on FIFA 23. I hope you're well. And well, this is the fourth episode I've recorded in a row now. My brain is absolute mush, but I figured as it was this one-off against Arsenal, I would just get this done as I've got a little bit more time to record. Um, since we're last with me, only one game has been played and I actually simmed it against Preston. And we won 2-0, so happy days. Um, but yeah, Arsenal to come in the league today, and then we have four more games the rest of the month. And then quite a busy, well, actually, maybe not so busy. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, um, yeah, so 2-0 win against Preston. That's how, that's not how the league looks. Um, if we have a look at the championship... That's how that looks. We've actually gone top. I'm assuming Palace, they drew their last game then, I'm guessing, and Fulham won. So it's now us top and Fulham in second. So it's still very much all to play for. We are stuck with ultimate for now. I may regret this against Arsenal. Fulham battered us 4-1 on ultimate. Arsenal are a very good side. It could be even worse. Still, we'll rise to the challenge and we'll play our backups as well because it's the cup. Happy days. So the midweek fifth round of the FA Cup against Arsenal. And this is how our visitors line up. Matt Turner in goal for them. A back four of Bar, Orban, Ure and Dest. Gavi. <laughs> Gavi for God's sake. Gavi and Jorge Resurrection. Great name. In the middle. Saka on the right. Adeo out on the left. And Erdegaard in behind. Timo Werner. So a very different looking Arsenal side. Enzo is there. Gabi Jesus. Nico Gonzalez. Ramsdale. So I think they've gone for a bit of rotation. But certainly still got some good players out. This is how we look. Ten changes. Aaron in goal. Gomez in at right back. Stark and Oliveira in. Brady at left back. Who's now dropped rating to 72. Taylor and Fuchs in the middle. Bakari on the right. Miejo on the left. Jones up top. Garner's dropped into the 10. Last time we played Arsenal in the very first season of this save in the Carabao Cup at the Emirates. And I think it was a bit of a pasting. I can't remember exactly what the score was, but I'm fairly sure it was like 3 or 4 nil to Arsenal. Uh, so, and that I think was just on legendary. So, um, yeah, no doubt this is going to be messy I have a feeling but somehow that's a corner not too sure how but yeah I think I'm gonna go and uh, record I'm recording this on a Friday I've actually got this Friday afternoon uh, this well this whole Friday off of work so that's why I've used the that's a goal <laughs> oh stop blabbing is that a day over that scored of all the players that scored I think it is you know just couldn't get the ball under control from anyone, really. But there you go. It's a good finish from the youngster who's put it into the far corner. And, yeah, we are under the cost. But, yeah, as I was saying, I've had this Friday off work. Um, so that's why I've used this time to... That's a terrible pass. Good interception, though. Um, so that's why I've used this time to record. And it's just ticked over uh, into the evening. And I think... What I am going to do once I've re finished recording this is make sure that I have an upload sorted for tonight. And then I'm going to go and have me a beer or two, I think, in a nice pub garden. Sounds good. I hope you enjoy your week. I don't even know when this will come out, but enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the sunshine, whatever you are doing. Garner. It's actually got a bit of space there for Taylor. Gomez had made a good run. Oh, there's, oh there was a gap. It was tight, but um, Gomez had actually made a good run forward. But by the time we got to him, he'd, or by the time we could have played the pass in, he'd already actually sort of um, got past his man, so it kind of well, couldn't really get the ball out to him. But Gomez is there with the day out. It sticks with him well. But again, the second ball's falling to them. And now they're in, and Odegaard has managed to squeeze that into a gap that wasn't even there really oh it's Timo Werner I was going to say number 15 but um, yeah that's uh, a little unfortunate day out bursting forward Taylor's he's just cut around Taylor like he's not even there oh and it's fallen to 
It's just falling to Verna there. And that's, I mean, those are the sort of things that when it happens on Legendary, it's annoying, but it's just one of those things. When it happens against you on Ultimate, and it's hard enough as it is. Yeah, well, he's not wrong, is the commentator. He said this is going to be a thrashing, and 3-0 inside half an hour is exactly that. We're not putting in the... Uh, we're not putting in a sort of a performance that a team top of the championship would be doing in that situation. And Werner has just stepped away from Stark. But it's a good tackle from Oliveira. Maybe we can get this one away now. And there's a counter-attack on it, potentially. Mijejo needs to draw the defender away. And he has done that. Mijejo should have squared it. Should have squared it to Jones, but I thought the angle were too tight. And Turner would just dive on it, but... Very good from Arsenal. We can't get near them at this moment in time. Oliveira comes across. And see, normally, he would get away with that. Oh, that's a good block, isn't it? But as it is, on ultimate, it just doesn't seem to be working for us. Odegaard, Werner, smashes it. 4-0. Well, we're at the FA Cup in rather emphatic style. Playing Arsenal on ultimate was always going to be a challenge. And so it has proved to be. It's like Fulham all over again. But at least I guess with Fulham we scored. Really good move. Adeo makes it five. I don't want to play Ultimate anymore. I don't want to play Arsenal anymore. Oh, go on. It's a lovely ball. It's a ball that I didn't even mean. Ricky J. Jones has scored. Yeah. Get a ball. Get 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 it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Never mind. I didn't even mean that through ball, but we'll certainly take it. Are there going to be any more goals in this match? Good interception from Smith. Mieho finds Jones. That's a nice little touch, you know. And Jones, he will have another goal. Oh, you bloody bird. Just pick up the ball. It's Garner. And Jones could be in again here, you know. Jones. Garner. Oh, it's... It's beautiful, the comeback's on. I don't know what's gone on with Arsenal. They've just fallen apart defensively in this last sort of 10 minutes. But, uh, yeah. We were 5-0 down at one point. What a comeback. This is brutal. It's Maxime Collin playing at centre-half. That's what it is. Is that going to go out? Oh, Smith has done back sacker even. Oh, they had to go and ruin it, didn't they? Who's that that scored? That's just... That's just spoiling it now. It's spoiling my fun. As well as everyone else's. Who's that? Nico Gonzalez. Oh, look at me. I'm really good. Well, there goes the final whistle. That was quite the game, wasn't it? <laughs> We're out of uh, out of the FA Cup quite emphatically. But we scored three goals against Arsenal. So I'll take it. We've been absolutely dominated in that game. But there you go. Shrewsbury beat Spurs 2-0. Wow. That is massive. Bolton, Villa, Shrewsbury, Arsenal, Southampton, Newcastle, Leicester City. Well, that's winnable for some of those lower sides. But, uh, yeah, our uh, our journey in the FA Cup is over for the season. So, of course, as I said, I'll play the rest of this month offline. But then we've got five... I only get, we've got seven games left after this month. So I think what we might do then is split it in two. So, well, I'll finish this month. We'll come the next episode. The episode after the, no. So next episode will be QPR Brighton Rotherham, and then the episode after that we'll do the last games of the season. So Fulham Palace, Middlesbrough, and Bolton. So there we go. Two episodes left of the season. It has certainly gone quick this one. But guys, if you have enjoyed that game. Blimey. <laughs> Pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.